now toss over to first alert chief meteorologist Dave Aguilera. Dave, what a really nice weekend we had of the weather. Oh uh, yeah, we got some moisture around here, much needed rain over the Denver metro area, and of course the snow in the mountains, all things uh, on the good side as far as moisture goes. And now we have a clear afternoon going on as we go into the evening tonight, though. There's a lot of cloud cover gone, so any heat that we did gather today is going to escape. So we got a cool night on the way tonight with radiational cooling. 62 right now at City Park. It's 65 from Betty Lajeunesse, our weather watcher up in Erie this afternoon. Here's the storm system. Uh, pretty well defined. A real big comma-shaped configuration here with the snow in the mountains pulling out, the rain over the plains this morning. Very very rare morning thunderstorms rumbling about. A lot of people were uh, awakened to the sound of thunderstorms this morning. Not only rare to see thunderstorms in October, but also there they are right there. Uh, rare to get them in the early morning hours like that. So uh, quite a storm that uh, came through here. Now we got another cold front in Boise, north of San Francisco as well. And that is not going to have an effect on us because of this little high that's over Las Vegas. This high is not going to be a real big surge, but it's going to be a flat ridge that kind of keeps everything up to the northern Rockies here. So that little trough comes through, goes up uh, into Wyoming, northern Wyoming, Montana. That's about it. And then on Thursday, there's a little system that kind of just tries to take a nosedive into the northern Rockies here. It should be enough to cool our temperatures on Friday, maybe give us a few afternoon clouds Thursday, but our chances for rain are rather small. Could be a sprinkle with some afternoon clouds, but that's going to be about it. And then a stronger ridge takes over after that Friday on into the weekend, and it's going to be a dry and sunny and very calm weekend ahead for us. So overnight tonight, just a few clouds developing right along the front range for the morning tomorrow. A little wave cloud there, otherwise mostly sunny across the state. And then at the end of the day, a few clouds over northern Colorado tomorrow. So most of us will have sunshine with the clearing skies tonight. Very cold out west around the Four Corners and northwestern valley areas here, including like uh, Glenwood Springs area and some of these areas have a freeze warning tonight. 10 p.m. tonight till 10 a.m. tomorrow could get a few points below freezing tonight. Take a look. So uh, like 29 in Aspen, it looks like 36 in Montrose, 30 in Pagosa, Alamos about 26 and 30 up there in Craig. So any of those areas, if you still have pot potted plants or gardens or or anything you may want to cover those or bring them in tomorrow's temps 70s to near 80 here across the eastern plains will be in the 50s and 60s in the mountains and the west tomorrow if you're in grand lake 57 for your high tomorrow 64 in conifer and we should be in the mid 70s from windsor Greeley, firestone all the way down to castle rock tomorrow so about 75 popular number dia's high should be that as well 74 on wednesday as it's a warm and sunny day and most of the state will see some mild temperatures going on and then mid 70s thursday that little front we were talking about comes through on Friday with 65 degrees for uh, Friday, so it cools us down and then we're back into the 70s over the weekend. Next chance of rain arrives next week with Monday and Tuesday and I've kind of lowered those temperatures next Tuesday and Wednesday just in time for Halloween. We got a little cool shot coming our way just before the holiday. Dave, thank you mm -hmm. so much. We'll check in with our Wilmy Bean now.